Hello, welcome to Robin's Roost. Today I want to share with you a card that I am making for a swap for my um, Do Stamper Stars team. So we each make a card and then and then for each other and send it out individually. So I'm actually going to get 12 great card samples to share with you on my Swap Card Friday um, that I do on my blog. But anyways, today I'm going to be using the Doggone Friendly stamp set. It's, it's actually a big background set. Um, well, I shouldn't say set, it's one stamp, right? It's a big, big image of dogs. And if you follow my, um, my blog or know me at all, you know that I'm a crazy critter lady, right? Um, and dogs are one of my favorite. So we're going to be doing some triple time stamping with this, um, with this great stamp. And then I'm also going to be using another um, stamp set from the new um, January to April catalog called Quiet Reflections. And this one, um, when I saw it, there's just some awesome greetings in it. I mean, the images are very pretty too, um, you know, for, for people that like the outdoors. But it has this, this greeting that says, um, oh, let's find it here. The friendship of a pet is one of life's greatest gifts. And I truly believe that. And then there's some other just great, great greetings in there. So we're going to be using that. So with no more ado, because I've probably forgotten to tell you something I wanted to say, but I don't remember what it was. So let's flip the camera and I'll show you how to make this card. One more thing I want to share with you about the um, upcoming celebration, right? Um, you see this glass plate? It's huge. I don't know, maybe 18 by something. I'm, there's measurements here. So here's 13. Here's 13. So it's got to be about 18 by by 12. No, by 13. And wonderful for um, doing any watercoloring or messy stuff. Um, not so great for um, for videos, as you can see. Where is it here? I've got my my glare from my light. But I wanted to show it to you. This is one of the specials during celebration if you buy a starter kit. So it comes with this and a couple other little, you know, cleaner and a little rubber uh, thing for holding your inks. So if you were thinking about maybe buying a starter kit, this is an awesome addition. It's uh, got a $60 value. So just a little extra tidbit for celebration. Anyways, let's pull in a piece of paper here so let's see where do I have to go there so we don't have that glare now for triple time stamping let's see maybe first of all let's talk about the the paper that we need and I am doing swaps so I have a whole pile so we're going to need a card base and let's see if I can sneak this out of here without spilling everything Okay, so it's just a standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then we need um, our layers to stamp on. So we're going to start with a five and a quarter by four. That's our biggest one. And then we need a four and a quarter by three. So you'll notice these are all pretty easy measurements to remember. And then our smallest one is three and a quarter by two. So an inch smaller on each of them. And then we need a half inch, oh, excuse me, a half inch by two and a half for our greeting. Then we're going to need some mats for each of those. And these are each um, an eighth of an inch bigger. Is that right? Yes. So bear with me if I get my measurements wrong here. Um, five and three eighths by four and an eighth and then we have four and three eighths oh if I can get one out here four and three eighths by three and one eighth and our small one is three and three eighths by two and an eighth and then we have our mat for our little greeting which is oh gosh let's see a half five eighths by two and five eighths. I might not have that one right because I didn't write that one down. That was my last one that I did. 
um, but it's going to be an eighth inch bigger than your um, two and a half by one half. Can you tell I wasn't a math major? So we're going to set everything out of the way except for our three um, pieces that we're going to be stamping on. So we're going to, um, I'm going to pull in, this is the um, piercing mat, but I like to use it when I'm stamping on things that I, I need an extra little squishy on. I don't know if that's a term, squishy, but I want to make sure that my, um, my, my stamp goes really well onto here because because of these layers, you get a little edge where it doesn't um, doesn't quite stamp. So we're just going to layer those together. Oh, and I have this here. I'm going to set this right on top of here. Maybe not the best plan. And I'm going to ink up my stamp. And I like to do it this way, kind of backwards because this thing is just too big for me to hang on to easily. So once you get it inked up, I'm going to stand up. That's the other thing that I, um, I find sometimes with these big stamps. Make sure I still have everything pretty square. And then um, we're just going to go ahead, set it down, and then you really want to squish it because you have all those weird edges and layers. Now, did I get every corner? Sometimes I forget a corner. So let's hope. Looks pretty darn good. I don't know why I keep this edge as my nemesis, but it's not bad. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna color the bandana and the, um, the dog. And I'm going to use my stamp and blend markers for his bandana. And I feel like it's really dark in here. Does that help? Yeah, maybe a little. Okay. So I'm just going to, this is the light red, real red. Oh my gosh, I'm shaky this morning. And then I'm just going to come back in with the dark red and kind of do the edges a little bit to give it some... Uh, dimension. So you could go back over this with the light red again, but I'm not going to. It's kind of just a small thing. Next, I'm going to take some of my um, colored pencils, and this is Melon Mambo. And I'm just going to give his tongue a little bit of a pink. And of course, if you were sending this card to someone and they had a Great Dane, you know, center the Great Dane, right? This is basic gray. And I'm just going to give, I don't know if this is a Siberian. I couldn't quite figure out what this dog was, but. The nose doesn't look quite right for a Siberian. My daughter has one. So I'm thinking it kind of looks like Sela. Okay, so that's all the coloring I'm going to do for this card. So you can see this is pretty simple. Let's see. Well, we've got well we have our ink and stuff out. Let's do our greeting as well. Oh, I can feel a sneeze coming on. Let's hope it passes. So we'll just ink up our our greeting with um, some of the tuxedo ink and. <clears throat> I'm not sure why I was so being, I put my, my labels on all of these stamps and was being, just slapping them on. And then this one, I decided, oh, I have to be really careful because I'm going to do a video. And I got it a little bit crooked. So let's see if I can get that. Oh, I'm way off. Okay. I did do a bunch of extras of these. I might have to put my head in the video. That was bad. Okay, so let's go this way. See, I was worrying about it way too much. Sometimes if you just kind of go with the flow, slap it on. There, that's better. Now, let's pull in all of our matting layers and start doing that. 
We'll see if I can get these straight. They seem to be a, a little wonky this morning. Okay, that one went well. Well, let's take this. Maybe this will help get a flat surface to work on again. I really like to use the um, Stamp and Seal Plus adhesive because it sticks. I mean, you can use just a little bit and don't worry about it um, coming loose. You know, when you when you give it to someone, but you have no forgiveness um, if you get her down wrong. Forget it; it's there. Just saying. So maybe. Um, Maybe the regular stamp and seal would be better that way. Like you could, if you got it crooked, you could peel it up a little bit quickly before you rub it. But there's always a good and a bad side, right, to every darn thing. Oh shoot, as I'm doing this, I was going to actually pop up the top layer. Well, should have started with the bottom. So this guy is not going to get popped up. So let me just pull in my sample card again. So if you see, I had this, this layer popped up with dimensionals. That's the plan. I liked it better than the flat. Although, when you're mailing something, sometimes flat is better just kind of a personal preference on that one. But it does really um, make that inner layer stand out if you do the dimensionals. Here I thought I was doing pretty good with getting everything remembered. Okay, so then we're gonna put it onto our card base. Let me grab a bone folder and give that a crease. Try to get him going the right direction. Upside down cards. Those are left-handed cards. If you glue the top on the wrong side, that's what a friend of mine said. They're lefties. Okay, so since I forgot to um, pop up my inner layer, let's go ahead and pop this up. There are no mistakes. Only, only. Um, oh gosh, what does my friend call them? I'm just drawing a blank on that. So opportunities for creative creativity, right? So we're going to pop this up instead of the top dog layer. So I think that'll be okay. We'll still have our little pop up. And then there are these really, really cute um, hearts and flowers in the, it's the Be Mine Suite. They're just called adhesive backed hearts and flowers. And we're going to put one of those on the corner here of this card. And I'll have just enough of the red and pink ones to get my swaps done. So it'll work out perfectly. So there we go. And then there is also, I'm going to use the, um, one of the woodsy, um, scenes from from the quiet reflections and I've got some smoky slate ink and we're just going to ink this up and stamp off because I want it light I'm going to stamp some words over this so we're just going to go ahead and stamp this and I think my my smoky slate ink pad needs a re-inking but I didn't want to do it before I did this because I want this really light. And then we have this um, beautiful Sorry for Your Loss from the um, 
oh gosh, I'm going to get my ink in my card corner, from the um, Quiet Reflections, and we're just going to stamp that right over top of this. There. Now let me close this before I drop the card in it. So then it just gives you kind of a nice background for the inside. And there's our pet card. So I hope you enjoyed this triple time stamping with the doggone friendly stamp set. And thank you for stopping by at the roost. Hope you have a great day.